In everyday life, we take space as multidimensional, while time only passes in one direction. So this idea of space and time being one might sound like a fantasy, but it exists. So let us see how space-time is linked with relativity that is the biggest breakthrough in the world of physics. Welcome to the world of Newtonian physics. Everything here looks same to everyone else. Don't forget Einstein can oppose your laws in minutes. Relativity repels what you just said. So according to Newton in classical physics, there is no concept of relativity between objects. Everything seems exactly same, which means that time and space are absolute quantities and are independent of their observers. So in all places, a meter is a meter and a second is a second. But here is where Einstein steps into the frame and says that Motion must be defined relative to frame of reference. And that space and time are completely relative rather than absolute concepts. Hence space and time without each other are just senseless. Just think about it. What if you want to throw a party? You'll decide a place and a time for your friends. If you just decide a place, they could be waiting for quite a lot. And if you just inform them about the time, they could be waiting anywhere in the world. So this is how three dimensions of space and one dimension of time fuses together to form space-time and this whole concept is based on Einstein's theory of relativity. Now think of space-time as a trampoline. Initially the net is flat but as soon as a person jumps and falls onto it, they distort it. In our example, they are bending the space-time grid and this is due to their mass. And this curve or simply say the disturbance in the space-time grid is what we call gravity. But we have always known gravity as a force of attraction, thanks to the Newton's apple, which made him believe that gravitational forces between objects act instantly. But you know what happened then? Einstein argued that gravity is not a force. His theory of relativity states that nothing can travel faster than light. So this idea of gravity acting instantly is not true. Take this example. Imagine you and a friend are standing thousand kilometers apart from each other on equator. Now both of you start moving towards north. Over time you would come closer and it would feel like there was a force that pulled you together. But in reality, you and your friend both did not feel any kind of force. The real reason for you coming together was that you were on a straight path on curved surface. Remember, space-time is also a curved surface due to mass. Greater the mass, greater the curve in space-time, and hence, stronger the gravitational force. So the interaction between matter, energy, and space-time is what created the universe around us today.